How do we sleep at night knowing that in the state of North Carolina, two out of three fourth graders don't read well by the time they're nine or 10 years old? How do we sleep well at night? How do I come to grips with the fact that we live in the most wealthy country in the world still? with tremendous innovation happening in the Research Triangle where we're sitting right now, in Silicon Valley, all throughout the byways and highways and urban and suburban and rural areas, including the state of North Carolina, which is a leader in connected learning, with the fact that four out of five African American and Hispanic Americans cannot read well by the time they're nine or 10. So, Without placing blame on anyone, what we're arguing is that we have the know-how to teach young children how to read. We've got the distractions of digital technologies which may or may not be helping right now. And we've got to come up with a new winning formula for blending some of the incredibly insightful innovation that exists in technology with the more or less settled reading science so that this quiet crisis, the fact that eight out of 10 kids of color in a state like North Carolina are not reading well can be reversed in the next 10 years. That's what keeps me up at night and why I think it's very important that educators from across states like North Carolina, which has been a pioneer in education reform over decades, could use technology in a new and significantly different way.